Hello. It's me talking to the camera. Hello. McDonald's. I don't know what that was. I already know what I want. I'm loving it. I already know what I want. I'm starving too. I want the number one with the sweet and sour. Oh, you, you want Big Mac too? Yeah. Oh, is it? Can I get a number one? Alright, That'll be all. I forgot to count those on. I'm surprised you didn't add mayo. I'm about to get some mayo package. I forgot I was recording. Hold on, cuz. It's the chocolate for me. Alright, cuz. I don't know why I just clapped in your ear like that. But we had McDonald's. I had to say to a Big Mac. I went from Rudy's. Now, first I went to Chick fil A, Rudy's. Then I said Papa's. And now I'm at McDonald's for the good old Buddha. Hi. How are you? Can I get some mayo packs? Mayo? Packs. Look at Jesus, my Lord and Savior. Thank you so much. Okay. All right, cuz. I done came to my senses. All right, y'all. We at McDonald's right now. Oh, baby, the Big Mac was on my mind heavy. Hit me. <laughs> Hit me. Buy them. Big Mac. Chicken nuggets. Extra mayo. Ketchup. <laughs> mm. It's fine, babe. I got you. Yo, what up, what it is, and what it do, this is your favorite cuzzo, and I am back with another banger. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and don't forget to hit the little bell notification so you can be notified when your favorite because I post another video. It's 98 Degrees McDonald's. Big Mac, baby. Extra mayo. Big they didn't give me no mix. Oh, they gave me a little dab of mix sauce. Just a little dab. And a six-piece chicken egg. Before we get into this good old bite, let's go ahead and get into this fragrance by it. God, thank you so much once again for the food that you have prepared for our body. We just want to say thank you so much, Lord God, for everything that you continue to do. In your name I pray, amen. Ting, bro, 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 cuz. I cannot wait to drink your high seat. I didn't get nothing to drink. Cuz. <laughs> it's the miggity, 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 mac, baby. I should have put some. I put her. Oh, wow. Mm. Oh, wow. What? Yours looks so juicy. You want to show it to the camera? Mm-hmm. Mm, so cute. Mm -hmm. She got extra mac sauce, so of course hers is like, I don't want to touch her burger. It's like, yeah, it did you right, my love. Appreciate it. You got it, you got it. Mine is a little dry, but we just found out they have mail packages. That is crazy. Yeah, because when I ordered a fish fillet, did you know I also love the fish fillet from here too. Like, I look, boy, I used to get mayo packages with my fish fillet. Because when you come to McDonald's, like, what do you get from McDonald's? Mine would be. A double cheeseburger, or a Mac double, six piece chicken nugget, honey mustard, or a Sprite. What's yours, babe? Um, chicken nuggets or a cheeseburger, no meat. <sighs> I've never seen that. <laughs> Listen, cuz here's the thing extra onion on it. <laughs> <laughs> I remember, that was a couple months ago. The first time we went to the drive thru, he was like, Can I get a <laughs> cheeseburger? No meat. <laughs> he like, You was laughing so hard. I'm like, What? Why didn't you just ask for bread? He's like, Just put the meat on the side. Just mm -hmm. put the, give her the meat on the side. I gave her the meat on the side, so I actually went home and I ate the meat. So, what is, why don't you just get two pieces of bread and a piece of cheese? Because I want the onions and the ketchup and mustard. Oh, mm. okay. So I can put my fries on top. Yeah, fries chicken nuggets. You put chicken nuggets on the right? Sometimes. Mm. 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 That's gotta be like that Cleveland stuff. Everybody do that in Cleveland? No. Just you? That's just a me thing, baby. Give me all the props. Because <laughs> <laughs> we're like. They're very precise when you eat. 
Yeah. Me? I don't give a damn. I don't give a damn. Get my burger, baby. Thank you. I don't need, and she gives me her pickles too. I don't need nothing else. Just get my burger, baby. How it came, so I don't fit to eat it. Hmm? How it came, so I don't fit to eat it. Right. You like to dissect yours and then add more sugar. It be good though. Mm -hmm. It be really good, but me, oh, they ain't put extra max. I'll get my burger, baby. It's all good. Even when we in restaurants, I think when we went to Houston this weekend, that was my first time ever sending something back. Yeah. I don't never send stuff back. I'd be like, it's fine. I'll eat it. We went to Houston this weekend. We went to some restaurant. And it was just like the chicken was like, Jesus Christ. It was like a brick. <laughs> it was like a brick. Like, it was horrible. And of course, me, I'm so nice. You ask me, like, are you okay? Do you want that? I'm like, yeah, I'm okay. But I'm like, uh, she doesn't like it. <laughs> Don't do my baby like that. <laughs> me though. I would have saw it too. When it comes to me, you're like I am with you. We was in Oklahoma and I tried to eat those nachos. Mm hmm You was like, you're not about to eat that. <laughs> but for me, I won't speak up on my behalf. I'll be like, just give me the burger. I'm, I am tripping. Because I was with somebody in that Jack in the Box video too. This day and age, fast food is not like what it used to be. Or restaurants aren't what they used to be. People are like angry and vindictive. So when you send stuff back, you kind of be like taking a 50 50 chance that ain't nobody did nothing to your food. Like that scares yeah. me. Yeah. That scares, it seems like that girl bought me the same chicken bag. Like they fried it harder. <laughs> <laughs> like, we you know ain't wasting nothing. Right. But I'd be scared to send stuff back because this ain't like. When my mom used to work at Hardy's when she was 15, and they was taught customer service and niceness. And baby, these people in these lines don't care <laughs> about none of that. It's like the world that we live in now. They don't give a damn about no job. They don't care about losing no job. We don't care about nothing. So nothing. We have grown to be very self-sufficient and like only depend on ourselves. Dog right. and dog world for real. A lot of mental. Yeah, a lot of people's mental. Yeah, like but if you're working at McDonald's, I don't deserve that. I do not deserve that. And they feel like they don't deserve to be working at McDonald's. Well, baby, they want better. Well, let's compromise because I want a better burger too. <laughs> <laughs> let's. How can we make this work? Because I'll get your side. But how can we make this work to where I know you don't want to be here and all I want is my lip burger just as good as gold. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So how can we compromise to get you out of here and get me a better burger? Because they, no they don't care. They don't care. Not. My baby was hungry. Look at that <laughs> man. Mm -hmm. That's why I didn't want Popeye's. Oh no. I ain't doing anything. That's why I want to pop out. I want a big man. But like, I don't be liking to send stuff back. We're not living in that generation no more. Where they care. You know what I mean? Yeah. If I worked at McDonald's, I was like, my burgers were prime. Actually, when I used to work at Burger like, once again, that was 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. That's so sad. I said that was 20 years ago when I worked at Breaking. My editors were different because I needed this job. Yeah. Your editors were different. When you need something, when, when something holds. You didn't have the influence of social media either. True. Nobody talked about me for working at Breaking. You know what I'm saying? Oh. Like, I don't want to be here. Like, you scroll, what you see? Six figures in 30 days. How to. People living their life, how to boss your life up, like yeah. driving Range Rovers and stuff. Yeah. Ooh, I didn't even think about that. That holds a big weight mm -hmm. on our society now because people aren't happy. They're doing what they see on Instagram. Yeah. If I know, I ain't too good to work at Burger King. I'm not. Right. If I know this is by any means, I, I got to get it, I'm going to Burger King. Well, I'm going to Walmart. These women want to get BBLs and veneers. They don't want to work at no McDonald's. That's so they crazy. They want to do apartment tours. They want to leave it. 
Right. Well, in their way of living, you know? Right. Back in the day, we was content with what we had because people wasn't so boastful. And so look what I can do. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It was more like, you doing good. You all right. For sure. You know? We let kids be kids. For sure. Kids don't get like a childhood anymore either. Nope. Thank you so much. They don't get like, nothing's the same. If I had, I'm telling you, man. I, if I had a picked up between all of these, I would go work at Popeyes for sure. I know I get chicken every day. Like if I'm on my ass, I work at Starbucks. You work at Starbucks. If I like me, Missy, if I'm on my ass, well, we done all been there. Hey, man, no, I'm not about to sit on this camera and pretend like my life just been. You know what I'm saying? Hell no. But I don't go work at Popeyes. I get free chicken every day. It might not be what I want right now, but it's something towards what I'm what I'm going to do. Yeah. And if a lot of you had that mentality, we'd be super straight. Like, it's not bad working at McDonald's if this is all you could do right now. How can you have that mentality? This generation scrolling and seeing somebody say, I can help you make six figures. Mm -hmm. You should be owning this business. You don't need any money down. You can get this business. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, like, everything. And the money down really isn't the money down. You know, you got to have good credit. Mm -hmm. A lot of times we, you know... As kids, you know, we go through our credit. Right. And then now we're in the era where they say credit is important. So now we're trying to work to pay the credit people to fix our credit. Mm -hmm. So when do you ever win? It's like a catch-up game. Every day. And after this year, it's going to be another era that they're trying to catch. Who's so smart. Right. I like the way you said catch-up era. Because look at Generation 2. You're wearing $500 shoes is cool. I only want to pay 500 for my own food. My little eight and a half was 300 or 250. So now your parents got to work. I was like in case with seven times right or some rebounds. Mm -hmm. Now your parents got to work seven times as hard to make sure you are kept up with society, so you yeah. don't go to school and get talked about. Hey man, my mama couldn't afford no 300 dollars shoes every what? I remember when Uggs came out. That was luxury. Right. Like. I want some Uggs, I want some Uggs. And they was low. Yeah. $100 a pound. Yeah. Now, like, nothing's the same. These kids ain't working no damn well. And when would I will? Mm -hmm. Like, like you said, it's like a catch up game every single day for everybody. You always feel like you're not doing enough or I should be doing this. When back in the day, what we was doing was to get to where we wanted to go. Yeah. It wasn't, you know, nothing feel rushed. It was like, baby, you got time. You no, know? everything is so rushed. Well, Miss Jackson down the street is about her. A Ben, she just posted on Instagram. Baby. Think about being in school. 16-year-olds doing lash extensions and nails. Yeah. So you going to school even seeing it. You know? So. Yeah. Yeah. We was making little keychains to take to school. And selling <laughs> candy bars. Like. No cap, though. We wasn't going to have this stuff. My nail tech was was 15. Man, we will never see that again. Cold, too. But making what somebody make with years of college. Like so your that? plan ain't your plan no more. Right. We ain't got no phones. Flip daddies. Flip daddies. No social media. Back in my day, we ain't got no phones. Yes, I did. Phones. Social media. It's just like, like you said, we live in a a catch-up world like it may kind of make you wonder though are people really happy are they really happy with the stuff that they've they've accomplished or did they do that because they knew they had to step up catch up or did, did they you even really want, want that? that yeah you yeah. know what i mean though like a lot of people look at me like i remember one time somebody was like you drive a honda i'm like hell yeah this is this is a 22 dollar fill up like it's a honda like what am i mm -hmm. supposed to be driving until I can afford what I really want to drive. Like, what am I supposed to be doing? But this kid was like, you drive a Honda? I'm like, ooh. But that's that catch me world where you see everybody. And are these people happy? Because when they lose it, their happiness gone. When they can't post about it, you know what I'm saying? Dang. Because I hope that's not you. I hope that's not you. I take pride in not posting half of my life. Baby, we had a time in Houston. Mm -hmm. I'd probably post like seven stories on Snapchat in three days. 
didn't even vlog about it. Wouldn't it was even, so fun. Nobody would have knew if I hadn't said anything on camera. Because once I say I'm, I'm going to Houston, I'm obligated to do what they want me to do. No. Once I posted it, you're obligated to do, You know what I'm saying? No. Yeah. No. No. I like it that way. You look cute today. Thank you. What? What's the belly beads? You know what I'm The waist beads? The belly beads? Waist beads? Waist beads. Waist beads. Don't ever say belly beads again. Baby, on your belly. Waist. Well, excuse me, belly bands. <laughs> <laughs> I like the waist beads, though. But yeah, so. Hope we're not living in that. That's like a fantasy world, dog. I'm really gonna YouTube is doing that. Yes. Yes. Apartment tours. That's probably why my views be down because I don't live this fake ass life where I gotta pretend to be something that I'm not. If I did, though, I bet my views would go up. Yeah. Because it seems like that's what people wanna, that's like their goals. They want stuff to inspire instead of finding the inspiration within themselves. Yeah. You know? That's all we had back in the day was ourselves to inspire us. Yeah, we seen like, you know, a couple actors like Holly Berry and, you know, stuff like that. But think about it. They weren't flashy. They didn't have nowhere to flash you. You know, it was, you see them look good at the BET Awards. Yep. The VMAs, like stuff like that. So that's when we was like, oh, that's nice. But we never did Seeing the trend. the cars, the yeah. money, the yeah. houses. Right. You had to see that shit in a magazine. Yeah. Literally, you still didn't get the full justice of what was going on. You just like, oh damn, they got a big house. Yeah. And then it started when that one show came out, MTV Cribs. Cribs. Then you was like, ah, but it still ain't click. It ain't click. Nope. But then you came out with MySpace, Facebook. I think what's it called? It did it. Ooh. Instagram did it. Instagram for sure. We talk about that all the time. Instagram is like a, it's like a devil's playground. Mm -hmm. Where people really believe that shit is real. This is not real. This is this is like a fantasy world people that we're that's all. That's the only way of life. That's not the only way of life. People be like, "Well, what happened to that? Well, what is it? This 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 camera facade is not real." I'm coming to you 20 minutes a day. I'm posting one picture. and I'm so freaking happy. And I turn off this camera. I'm miserable. As soon as I flash that picture, smile, I'm miserable. Like that's that's not. I pray like our kids don't have to like deal with this like wow you know what I'm saying no because you've got so many opinions and people putting their expectations on you and it's just kind of like I didn't ask to be on this pedestal so now that's when you have kids who are harming themselves at a younger age because they're so they're expected to do more they feel like they're behind. They feel like they're behind. When Whether they're that's exactly where somebody commenting on their Instagram, commenting on their TikToks, commenting on... You have to deal with this every day. I'm 35 and sometimes I can't even deal with it. I'm 35 and have to deal with being torn apart sometimes. I just pray our kids don't have to like... Experience. Experience. Baby, you right where you need to be. Stay there. Stay there, baby. You Stay got a kid. years to be a kid. And Stay a know, kid. 50 plus to be an adult. Stay a kid, dog. <laughs> I promise you, you, you don't, baby, you don't want to know what the hell your mama going through at 35. If I pay one more bill. <laughs> but you get what I'm saying, though? Yeah. We're, they're rushing to get to where we are and not understanding, baby. We just posting that on Instagram. <laughs> We're going back home. My hair ain't done. I got to go pay some bills and I got to go to work. I hope that's not true, cuz, but I pray my kids never have to deal with bullying. Bullying, I mean, not saying it's okay, but it's inevitable. But the level of bullying these kids are on these days is like, oh, you're the not shoes. enough. What the? Man, I used to get so greased up with my K Swiss. You no. can't tell me nothing. We bought classic. Yeah. Man, $40 shoe, you can get two pills. Don't pill. let you not come to school with no Jordans this year. <laughs> Back it out there, you can get two pills. Reeboks. Black mm -hmm. pill and white pill, hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. K Swiss, fifty bucks. Yeah, they need to get uniform in all schools. They still they need gonna, to go back. They still gonna make it away to where like kids still gonna be wearing six hundred dollars. How I lived, I'd be so far behind. Man, we couldn't afford like, this. I couldn't afford it. I know my, my, my mom, mom did, yeah. did the best that they could, but mm -hmm. 
this, this right here. They might as well just picked on me then. I couldn't have I couldn't have did this way. I couldn't have, yeah, no. No, not this year. No. I may come with some written down jokes in this year. <laughs> like, <laughs> I, go. I got to know how to reel. I, <laughs> I got to know how to reel. Here y'all go. Cause they put the dog my I got to know how I to reel. Here y'all go. <laughs> I will help you talk about me <laughs> at this point. You stupid man. What color like we want? Cause I love you. Let's get it.